Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add Wise Sense to Home Assistant. As always, there is a written version of this guide, so if you'd prefer that, head on over to techtechandmoretech.com or check the link in the description below. Now, unlike some of the other plugins that are out there for Home Assistant, the Wise Sense one is a little bit more involved, so this video is gonna be a little bit longer and has some extra sort of steps to it. Now, just to be clear, this is just for the Wise Sense, which is a little sort of like USB hub that plugs into the back of the Wise Cam that will then connect to all of their various sensors. This isn't for the Wise Cam, and it's also not for any other Wise device, which are all Wi-Fi based like their plugs or their light bulbs. Of course, you will need a running instance of Home Assistant, and of course, you will need the Wise Sense USB device as well, and preferably some Wise Sense uh, devices like a motion sensor, contact, whatever, so you can pair with it to make sure that it works. As per usual, pretty much everything is going to be done on a computer in Home Assistant, so let's jump to that now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install the Home Assistant Community Store, which is kind of like an offset of the add-on store that we have in Home Assistant. So the first thing we need to install the Community Store is to actually download it. So if we go to Google, we type in HACS GitHub, spell it correctly, and we go to Releases, and that will bring us to this page where we have the latest release. Oh, one just came, just came out. Scroll down a little bit until we see the hacs.zip and go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna download. It's not that big of a file, so once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up the folder and unzip it if you need to unzip it. Mine is already unzipped because macOS does that automatically. And now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into the same folder where our configuration.yaml is for Home Assistant. So in order to do this, the easiest way is to already have the Samba add-on installed for Home Assistant. So if you don't have that, I would highly recommend going and installing the Samba Share add-on because this allows you to remotely or just be able to easily access all the files. So I'm gonna do this by going to Finder, and connect to server and connect to home assistant. Takes a second and config. That's the file. That's the folder I want. And perfect. We got the we got everything right here, as we can see, configuration, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So once you're in this folder, you want to create another folder called, called custom underscore components. And it has to be in the same folder that your configuration.yaml is in. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder and call it custom underscore components. Easy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take HACS, and we're gonna copy, and we're gonna paste it in here. Now because I've, I've downloaded it before, I am actually gonna rename mine just to HACS. I have the dash two because I've already downloaded it before. So I'm, I'm gonna fix that up. So you probably won't have to do that. So in your config folder, you will have custom components in the same folder as configuration. And in there, you're gonna have your HACS folder. That's it that you have to do from right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our home assistant and we're actually just gonna reboot it real quick. Or not reboot it, we're gonna restart it. So server controls, restart, and okay. The next step is to go to GitHub and get your personal access token. So if you don't have a GitHub account, you're gonna to have to create one. And what you're gonna do is sign in if you have an account or if you don't have an account, create a new account. And then go here and go to settings. Go down to developer settings and so now we're gonna to get to personal access tokens and we're gonna click on generate new token. Give it a name, something normal, something like HACS is all you need. We're not gonna select any of these checkboxes. We're just gonna scroll all the way down and hit generate token. Pretty straightforward. You're gonna get this page and then hit the little clipboard to basically copy it. Or if you're not sure if that worked, you can always just select it and control C. Okay, so now that you have your personal access token, what you can do is you can go back to home assistant 
and we're going to search the integration and we're going to type in HACS and nothing shows up. What you actually have to do is clear your browser cache. But if you don't want to clear the cache, what you can also do is just open a incognito window or a private browser window because that doesn't have any cache. And then you're going to go to your home assistant instance. You're going to log in. And then when you go to configuration, integrations, hit on plus and type in HCS, voila, it's right there. Oops. And then we're going to select it. It's going to give it a minute or so just for it to install, just for it to get up and running. And that's when you're going to paste in your personal access token from GitHub. All right, now that it's installed, you're going to be asked to paste your personal access token. So go ahead and paste that and hit on submit. And success. Now you can select the area where it has been. So go ahead and just select where you want on the control room and finish. Cool. Now we've got the little now we've got the little HACS card. Go ahead and click on options. And here's where we can configure it. I'm going to select these top few. Doesn't really matter. And then hit submit and save. Now my options have been saved for HACS. So now in order to add the Ysense integration, we're going to do it through this page right here, through the community store. So we're going to go to integrations and then we're going to add a custom repository and it's not going to be down here. It's actually going to be up here. These three little dots. We're going to go ahead and click on that and hit on custom repositories. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste this value. Now I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can see it in, in full, but it's basically just github.com slash Kevin Vincent slash HA dash wise sense and category. We're going to select integration and hit on add. And it's going to find it and we're going to select it. And then we're going to do install this repository and install. This is just like a version and here we go. Now what we need to do is just restart. So let's go to configuration, server controls, restart and okay. Okay. Now that home assistant has restarted, we can double check to make sure that it installed correctly by going to HACS and then integrations. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. This is just everything that's on there. But if we just search for wise, we can see that it has been installed. So the next step is going to be to take the actual wise sense USB plug that's usually plugged into the back of a wise cam and plug it into one of the USB ports on your home assistant machine. In my case, it's a raspberry Pi. So now that you have plugged in your wise sense hub USB dongle thing into a USB port on your home assistant machine, the last thing to do is just to add a little bit of code or text to the configuration file. So let's go to file editor and configuration.yaml and then we're going to paste this text which is of course down below in the description and we're just going to paste it binary sensor platform y sense device slash dev slash hydra zero for hit save and then we're going to go to configuration and just restart server controls check configuration awesome and restart and hit okay after this restarts we should be able to add our wise sense devices to this hub, no problem. Now that Home Assistant has restarted, I'm going to show you how you can add all of your Ysense devices to the Home Assistant instance. And I'm going to jump out and use my iPad because of course I find that to be the easiest way to do it. And let's do that now. So the procedure to add Ysense devices to Home Assistant is a little bit different, but it's still very straightforward. What you're going to do is you're going to go to developer tools, and then services. Under services, you're going to tap the little drop down and you're going to get a whole bunch of them and you're going to scroll down until you see wise sense scan. You're going to select that. And then you're to, what you're going to do is you're going to hit call service. You're also going to want to get like a paper clip or a sim ejector tool and then press on the sync button. So I'm going to do call service and then I'm just going to hold this down for a couple of seconds. Yep. And if it works, you're going to see it pop up at notification. Why sense sensor found and added as a binary sensor? Why sense blah, blah, blah. And that's it.
dismiss. And you can do that for every single device that you have. So it's easier to do with a phone and just walk around to every wise device that you have. So if you already stuck them like I have to like Windows and stuff like that, makes it a very easy way to add. So now when we go to make sure that we can sort of call upon it, we can go to configuration and entities. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we've got wise sense right there. And we can give it a name and all that kind of stuff and make sure that it works. So there you have it folks. You now have the wise sense integration with home assistant. It's a little bit more work than some of the other integrations as you saw. But now going forward, adding a new device is super simple. So you can keep buying wise sensors, like you know, their motion sensors or door sensors, etc., to fill out the rest of your smart home for fairly low cost. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them as best I can. And until next time, see ya.